Hey friends, today we're working in the garage. This whole section here was closed off except for a man door in the middle and I wanted to open it up so I could pull the long, the longest of long vehicles in here. I could barely fit a crew cab long bed in here before. Not, not even really, but I could make it fit and now it should fit easily. And we got room for the pool table. But I lost a lot of my wall space so I ended up hanging the pegboard up over there and I wanted to make up for it so we got some shelves here and I was like, well, how am I going to hang them from the ceiling? Well, these shelves are sturdy. These these brackets, if you can get these braced ones, they're way, way better than, say, that junk right there. These flimsy ones that you get at Walmart or the dollar store or whatever else. See, these you can hang all of me off of, and I'm over 200 pounds. But to make it even stronger, how was I going to do it in the middle? Well, okay, I got a center brace here, the top of what that garbage dividing wall used to be. But I made sure it was bolted firmly. I put some long deck screws through there bolted firmly to the rafter and then I went ahead and I bolted that piece of 2x4 to the top and then of course just a 1x4 here and then bolted this to this and now uh, for over here you just wrap around there a piece of regular strap. These straps are usually good for 800 to 1000 pounds and I know there's probably people that are going to tell me I'm doing this wrong and this isn't safe because and feel free to to give me any advice in the comments. I, I'm always open to learn. Up here, I was like, how am I gonna suspend it from the ceiling? Well, this works quite well. Pre-drill, a one by four. And then that center, once you've got it in there, don't tighten those side two screws. Just tighten it with your strap through it already. And then just don't tighten the edge two screws. You can pull it as tight as you need to once you have it down here. And then once you have the strap where you need it nice and level, which this probably isn't even, but then you tighten down the side ones and you can tighten the middle one as well. And now Frankie can do pull-ups on here if he wants to. And well, he's probably about 120 pounds. And frankly, I could probably do pull-ups on here actually. And uh, yeah, that was all of my weight there already. Same for over here. Just wrap it around there, screw it tight. Top and bottom. I didn't. Even, you don't even have to do on the bottom, but wrap it around. Double strength. I bet you this strap would rip, or these one by fours would break before before that uh, idea gives away. So figured if anybody was curious as to how to, I could have done the same here. I could have gone around a board up there and then wrapped it around the same way and screwed it on like that. But I forgot. I didn't think to. And this is plenty solid enough already. I'm never ever going to put more than probably 200 pounds on the whole thing and well me and Frankie could probably both be sleeping on there at the same time and not have to worry about it coming down so anyway if anybody wants to know how to hang suspended wants any ideas how to hang suspended shelving even without this brace if you were to use two by fours instead you could easily use these two straps and they would be good for 500 pounds or more I would guess whatever these boards will hold you'd probably be good for even if you didn't have a 2x4 to bolt it to, even if you just used this, I bet you'd probably still be good for at least a couple hundred pounds. But anyway, hope this video helps somebody, and as always, may God bless you.